Hi, I'm Elise. And I'm Kendra, and we're from Six Sister Stuff. Today we're going to be making gooey Chex Mix. And to start, we're going to mix one and a half cups of sugar into your saucepan. And next you're going to add one and a fourth cup of corn syrup. That's what makes it gooey. Yeah. <laughs> and then next you're going to add three-fourths cup of butter. Or you can use margarine. And then a dash of salt. And then you're just going to mix it all together. So this is our butter, sugar, corn syrup, and dash of salt. And I've just got it over one of my burners on high heat. And I'm just going to stir it every now and then just to make sure it doesn't burn to the bottom until it hits a full boil. And once it hits that full boil, I'll just bring it to medium heat and let it roll for three minutes. So now that your mixture has come to a boil, you're going to find one of your bigger pans. Bigger bowls. Bigger bowls. <laughs> <laughs> and pour a whole box of Chex Mix. But first you want to spray it with non-cook, non-stick cooking spray. And you could use rice Chex or corn Chex. Either one. I like corn Chex because I feel like it's a little bit sweeter, but you've got enough goo. It'll be plenty sweet. Okay, now you want to pour your gooey mix mixture on top. And then we have about uh, one cup of slivered almonds. Getting extra. Every little bit of goo counts. Just want to mix that in. And then you use a whole bag of coconut. <laughs> That's why you need a big bowl. <laughs> and I've seen people add like nuts to this or even like golden grams and other cereal. So you can kind of add whatever stuff your family likes. Our mom used to make this every Christmas for our neighbors. We would literally have pounds of this in our kitchen to bring to everybody else. So it was always <laughs> a novelty when we actually got some of it ourselves. Holiday favorite. So after you feel like all of the pieces are equally covered, sorry I'm getting there, um, you'll just dump it on a piece of wax paper and just spread it out until it kind of hardens a little bit so it's not too hot or sticky when you try and eat it so Ooh. spread some of it so I would let it sit at least a half hour until it can harden up a little bit and then you're ready to dive in so this is our gooey chex mix and for this recipe and more easy recipes, visit our website, SixSistersStuff.com. Thanks.